everybody, this is the uh, Divine Union reading for this week. Um, it feels very much to be in the build-up to the Libra New Moon, which is where collectively we're all uh, reaching a point of readiness. We've been working through things, we've um, been working towards things, we've been holding space for things, we've been making decisions about what's truly right for us where we really want to be and where we really want to be headed and, and what isn't um and as we're building up to the libra new moon um this is where um the masculine and feminine energies come into a balance um more of a balance um and um take the steps act on uh what they're ready for leave behind what's not true um, these are the themes that have been coming through the readings. Um, so I have two cards today. One is a message um, from the Divine Masculine to the Divine Feminine. And the second is a message from the Divine Feminine to the Divine Masculine. So the Masculine says to his Feminine, I see you, I feel you. When you feel lost, look up. Your light guides me out of darkness. Your voice vibrates in my soul. Your love caresses my heart when I am at my lowest. For you are me and I am you. So, whether consciously or not, the masculine sees you, feels you, and knows that he is you. Akachata kosototo. Okay, and the feminine, her message to her counterpart, the divine masculine, is self validation. Some love you for what you do, I love you for who you are. The twin flame journey is one of selfless love and surrendering to a higher cause for both. So that's truly that unconditional love. I love you for you. It doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter what you say. That's all temporary. That's all part of the lower self. Um, that love comes right through from the higher, from the heavens, all the way down into this reality and that love is always there even if there's separation so this alignment has been coming in um, and uh, I've seen lots of images. Um, a divine feminine of mine took this picture while we were on a FaceTime call um, and um, we were definitely channeling the energies in together. Um, it was very, very connected to... Um, a recent Divine Masculine reading where at that time the Divine Feminine Divine Masculine readings were all about this alignment, this um, anchoring of the Twin Flames um, unity into the physical reality, into the material world um, and it was these two pillars of light lining up um, and I'm being shown now to include that image here and the codes in that image. So if you just let your eyes roll over that, receive the codes. At the time... Uh, she had some essential oil bottles um, and as she turned them around they were exactly um, for the purposes of what the codes were that we we're bringing in so they've now been um, processing 
through the collective field and they're ready now for you to receive those codes. I'm seeing the reds, I'm seeing a lot of red colours and I'm seeing two reds, like two base chakras coming together. And from there a flourishing of the oranges, it's like the sacral chakra, um, but it's because the base chakras are solid and open. Um, so to me that's like the base of the pyramid, you know, the um, the base chakra is having um, security, safety, income, food, shelter. Um, from that place then you can be creative and create uh, the um, joyful, um, fulfilling things on, on top of that, like relationships um, and missions and projects and now I'm seeing the pinks which is the unconditional love coming into that I'm seeing it activating the base chakra but it's like cosmic pinks it's cosmic divine love unconditional love I'm getting a sense of uh, Mary Magdalene. I'm being shown that golden heart um, and remembering what you deserve. This message is really coming in this week remember what you deserve so now claiming your heart claiming what your heart wants like no more sacrificing of your heart for um other narratives things that you have had to complete it's like you're ready now. This readiness is coming in. Um, it's it's ready to step in to what you're ready to claim. So claim your heart and claim what you deserve now. I'm speaking to both twins. It's a big release through the solar plexus and the throat. It's like it feels like a cork came out of the throat. Like I can live and express my truth now. I'm feeling unified love come in. Unified love. Not unmet love. Not unrequited love. But unified love. Ishatako. Atako. Feeling it move down the central pillar. 
it's soothing the solar plexus, that will center where what you've wanted and needed and desired hasn't been available, that's clearing, that's activating. In the I see you, I feel your card, there's a pillar of light there. It's almost like that, like I, you're so activated that you are a beacon between heaven and earth. Your light is a beacon, you're that visible on the energetic levels. Ishataka toto toko, as a unity. Akatata toto ta toto. Big release of the solar plex in the throat. The landing of the unity into your physical vessels. You can feel it in your legs. You can feel it in your feet. You can feel it into the earth. And there's this sense of um, a physical meeting. So physically seeing each other. Um, possible that might be if you're a long distance away over a Zoom call or something like that. Or it could well be physically meeting face to face. Um, but it's not quite here, but it's I can feel it in the periphery. It may be that you see each other already. In which case then this would be a significant physical meeting where you meeting each other in the physical and being aware of the fullness of who you are connecting all the way through on all the levels. Ishato ko tutuko tatata tokoto atititi takatoko ko where the love really is channeled in from the divine through you. Akati taka totoko totoko to akati titi takatoko to akatati takatoko akatata takata takatoko atata takatoko toko toko to atata takata takato atata takata takato atata takata takato akatati takatoko to atita toko to akatita ta Okay, it's really a strong clearing through the crown, the throat, the solar plexus, the back of the neck, atlas area, that's the galactic portal. Ishato Atako. Connecting to your multidimensionality and to your twin. And really bringing it together. Okay, so that is a healing. Anything that comes up is going to be the opposite of what we've brought in. So it's going to be things like not feeling seen, not feeling felt, not feeling the connectivity, um, not feeling that unconditional selfless love and not being able to surrender to the higher cause. So those are the things, anything that's in the way of that is what is likely to come up for you to see. Um, but just allow it to come up, observe it, let it come out. It's just coming up to move away, to say goodbye. Listen to your body, drink a lot of water, and listen as many times as you need to. It goes a level deeper every time. Blessings, everyone. <laughs>